about ready to go behind these bars deep into the inner sanctum. Here's a, a German rifle with bullet in the chamber still. Helmet, a uh, knife like this before. There's a headlamp for a motorcycle or a bicycle. And I think behind it is another type of grenade. And this is a live German grenade. <laughs> I'm six inches away or less. Lots of bullets flying on the ground. A boot belonging to an infantry officer. This is really remarkable. You can just feel it being used and imagine what it looked like while being worn on the soldier. And then this is a, uh, a meat hook, you know, to hold food and dry meat <laughs> in the ceiling. This is uh, very special to me. This is an orthopedic splint from a hundred years ago. And uh, I used to be an orthopedic resident and I'm now an emergency physician. I use splints all the time. And check this out, a toothbrush from a hundred years ago, lying on the ground, laying on top of some live bullets. And uh, there's some wire cutters that were probably carried in, in raids to uh, cut the wire on the other guy's front line. But this is a, a candle from a hundred years ago, presumably. Soldier stuck a flat rock in a hole and put this candle on, and it's just there, and you see the wax. Is that is like melting, oh yeah, melting like rivulets down these uh, grooves in the rock. And then you see the black smoke from the candle that's been there for a hundred years. Here's a pickaxe and uh, a, a French sword. These, these nails uh, you see frequently. Um, uh, soldiers would place uh, food or clothing on the nails to get them off the ground and protect them from rats. A German grenade, a uh, French canteen. Um, these are uh, bullet holders for a French machine gun, Chauchat machine gun. Gilles tells me that this is German, that it's original uh, insulators and light bulb. It looks like it's put in yesterday. Um, and uh, the wooden insulator. And there's another one next to it. This is the one and only telephone, actually intact, well, relatively intact phone. It's a German phone. You often see the wiring and the insulators for telephone or telecommunications uh, in uh, underground cities on both sides. But this is the first time I've actually found a handset. Hey, Joe. Yes. Did you have a good day? A good day. <laughs> yeah, we took lots of pictures, hundreds. Now it's uh, uh, schlepping all the gear to the top, uh, carrying, uh, pulling it up by rope, and uh, and then off we go. I'm really delighted to share this experience with everyone. Take care. Bye. <laughs>